So summer of 2015, Ryan of Rywire came to us and asked us to do a bit of a profile piece on a car he was building, a Honda. So this was a super fun project. Ryan was, uh, was really interesting. He is doing pretty amazing things with some of these specialized cars. He's got incredible equipment and gear that he's manufacturing. And he's also building an amazing car. The goal of this project was to showcase the, the building of this car, but also more so to talk about Ryan's history and background and where he's come from, his passions, his challenges, his inspirations, uh, which have all kind of flowed into this new car. When John and Ben came to me to talk to me about this project, the story itself kind of lended to interesting visuals and had a lot of just the locations and the fact that it was, you know, this gentleman building a car from scratch and building it to be something that's super high performance. The shoot took us from Ryan's shop in the Orange County area out to the desert, up into the mountains of Idlewild, and out to the El Mirage Dry Lake Bed to kind of round out our shooting big, huge behemoth of, of open space. Uh, we were really the only ones out there, miles and miles in either direction, to drive the car. We're uh, day two here. Day's going really well, getting a lot of great shots, having fun, doing some different mounds, different uh, angles. Um, and everyone seems to be in good spirits, which is positive. We were really fortunate to get our hands on a Canon C300 Mark II. It's a brand new camera, and we got a chance to put it through its paces. The expanded dynamic range and the expansive color science behind this camera over the original cameras was something that I think really performs in the footage itself once we started playing with it and seeing it in post. Knowing what we were going to have to shoot and how we were going to shoot, the biggest thing that jumped out to me was being able to have the ability to say, I want to shoot an autofocus. So another killer feature of the X-T10, which is super cool, and we're doing it on the Canon C300, is we're using the face detection. We've been using autofocus on the C300. We haven't pulled focus in two days. It's been incredible. We had basically a mini jib. Ilya over at Hot Rod Camera helped us out with that. We had the Turbo Ace Jockey, which is this accessory that you add to the, the Ronin and takes out some of that up-down movement. And we've got our little XC10, so we've been using that in favor of a GoPro. Right now we're gonna get a shot where Zach is gonna mount the camera inside and we're gonna get Ryan driving his Porsche GT3. And we were mounting cameras all over the place. And we inverted the Ronin and uh, we needed something to kind of dampen that up-down bouncing vibration. And so the Strauss Productions vibration dampening plate came in handy. We just finished day two. It was a wonderful day. We got some amazing footage of Ryan and the Porsche. We had a great group of folks come out to work with us for the, the three days in the desert, the couple days in the shop. It was really an all hands on deck, valiant effort by everyone, and we got a lot of great footage. We also wanted to capture some amazing aerial footage out in the desert. That orange car would really pop on the desert landscape, especially from the sky. So we brought in New Sky Productions from Portland. John brought his DJI Inspire One and was able to capture some really amazing footage for us. Good morning. So it's day, what is this? Day two? Day three? Ryan has just been ripping back and forth. They're doing a little work over there. And while they do that, I'm going to get the Inspire One ready to fly. So we needed some really good music for this piece to augment the really beautiful visuals. And we decided to go with Marmoset. Really helpful, they have a, a wonderful library of tracks. They're based out of Portland. 
and uh, I am loving what I'm hearing. Stu at, at Revolution Cinema Rentals was awesome. He hooked us up and, and took good care of us in terms of the accessories that we needed out on the shoot. Pulling the equipment from Revolution Cinema Rentals up in San Fernando Valley and having that relationship uh, with their rental house has really helped me in a lot of my projects and it'll continue to help me in the future as well. BBS Lighting also hooked us up with a pipeline reporter kit. These were really handy because they were battery operated and they give off a beautiful quality of light. I think the piece is really fun. I think it really encapsulates what Ryan is all about. I'm really excited that he's able to launch this amazing car that he's been working on for so long. And uh, I think it's gonna be a success. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. We had a lot of fun making it.